Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Y'all, I am so excited because I have been talking about this collection literally like I feel like every week during Makeup Bingo. So in today's video we are going to be doing a nice fluffy fun demo of the new Glam Light Ghost Face collection. I'm going to show you all the products, do some swatches, and show you how I pretty much just created this whole look using all the products from this collection. No this is not the lip and I'll explain. <laughs> When we get to that point, you'll understand why. But uh, yeah, you know what? Instead of like wasting your time, let me show you how I created these two looks. At the end, I'll show you some swatches and give you my first impression thoughts on this collection. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is a blush. I figured let's do all the face products first and then we're gonna do an eye look. I am so excited. <laughs> I don't know where to start. So uh, I pretty much just have foundation, concealer, and a little bit of bronzer. And because the blush is red, motherfucking red, um, I'm very uncooked chicken. Hi, like I blend in with my wall. I chose to use Jones Road bronzer because there is a little bit of like a redness, rosiness to it. So I'm hoping the blush gods are with me and this doesn't look um, so out there. <laughs> We're just gonna hold our breath for a second, okay? All right, so I'm gonna grab this rougher brush. I am so, I'm so fine. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay, that's a lot of pigment. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. I hear you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Okay, I gotta commit. I gotta commit. I gotta commit. I gotta. <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Also, I feel like it's so extra spooky right now because I got this this afternoon and I finished work, took off all my makeup and decided I need to do this now because I've just been so just obsessed and curious about this collection. And now, because it's Florida, it's raining cats and dogs, okay? So it's like thunder, lightning, the whole kitten motherfucking caboodle. So if I jump, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm right next to the window, so I'm like, <sighs> but okay. Anyway, so that's what one layer looks like, kind of blended out. She's strong. She is, <laughs> she is very, very strong. I really do like Glam Light's blushes. If you can ever find, I'm not even sure if they still sell this, but if they do, fucking grab it. From the Strawberry Shortcake Collection, there was like this hot pink blush. That's fantastic. Like, so fucking good. Also, the Chucky blush is really good as well. Uh, but this is nice. And I like that while it is a little, intense. I can blend it to be a little less in your face Annabelle Possessed doll. So I like it. I think it's really, really cute. This is the side that just has the bronzer. This is with a little bit of the red. I think it's cool. So I'm gonna do it to the other side and then we're gonna move on to the highlighter. By the way, this mirror is everything, okay? Everything. The blush on this side of the face felt a little bit stronger and probably due to the fact that there was some pigment on this brush that I went in one more time and applied it. So I feel like it looks maybe a little bit stronger on this side. So what I did, besides using my handy dandy, like the love of my life brush from Hourglass, I use a little bit of setting powder to diffuse it and it looks a lot better. So if you do get in a situation where you're like, I flew too close to the sun, just know if you use a little bit of setting powder, it can definitely blend out. So moving on to the next product, which I think, honestly, I'm probably the most excited about. It's the highlighter. This one's so adorable because there's two different highlighters. So you have like this really beautiful icy moment and then you have this like kind of pale gold. So we're gonna do uh, icy white on one side and then pale gold on the other. Let's try the pale gold. When it comes to glam light, they don't fuck around. They don't fuck around. Like, I'm sorry, excuse me? Hello, hi. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay, that was one like little swoop. She's cute. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't see any glitter bukkake <laughs> or like any micro glitter, which is good. And it is kind of blending out very nicely. It has that very like wet sheen, like I'm suffering from food poisoning, which we love. I just want to keep touching my face. <laughs> I love a strong highlighter, I really do. And this is everything. Literally, I'm just reliving 2016 all over my face right now, okay? And I regret nothing. This is pretty. It compares very, very well to with the blush, which is great. Let's go with the icy side. Oh, it's not really icy. It's more of like a um, pinky white duochrome effect. <laughs> bitch, bitch. Okay, I like this. This is the winner though. This is the clear winner. It's that pinkiness that just works, that works so well with the blush. 
fuck me up. I love this. This is good. The only thing though with this one, you can see a little bit of the micro glitter. So if you're someone that doesn't like that, kind of just be mindful of it. But I will say that even though I am kind of buffing this out and blending this into my blush, I'm not finding the sparkles going everywhere. So that's good. So at least they are very, very contained. And I do have like, I don't know, I guess like crow's feet or whatever over here. I'm not seeing any sort of like weirdness there. It's not like settling into my fine lines. Like everything looks pretty good. It's definitely very alien slut and I love that. So that's good. So far we're doing really, really well. Very, very happy. Let's continue this energy. <laughs> So let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. So this is what she looks like. She's very, very pretty. I kind of, I don't know, I love like this. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's like a gray, green, lavender flip. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of need to do this one. This one's calling to me. Ooh, that one's also calling me too. Shit. Okay, there's so many that are calling to me. But I think, uh, okay, so we also kind of need to play with that silver. Listen, I am all about, I can't even say it anymore. Ugh, tin Man Phallus. Ugh, it doesn't have the same ring to it. Anyway, I'm always on the quest for that. <laughs> I just love a good schlong, I guess. I don't <laughs> It just sounds more offensive. I just, I can't. I need to try that silver. So we're gonna do two different eye looks, but I need to do that purple one though. That looks so good. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit of Kaleidos Tone Activator Primer. Usually my primer go-to choice as of late. I'm gonna go into the shade Chilled Frost, which is this middle, like light brown gray color. And I am just going to put that all over the lid. It's a very, very light shade, but it is buildable, which is good. Also, I'm not seeing any sort of any sort of fallout, which is good. There is a little bit of kick up, but pretty standard, I would say, for glam light. Now that we have that laid down all over the lid, I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade over here. It's called Shadows Back, and I'm gonna start putting it in the outer corner, just very, very lightly, because even though I'm not seeing any fallout, I don't want to go fucking ham and then be like, shit, I shouldn't have done that. So I'm just gonna slowly build up the shade in the outer corner. This is looking really nice. And I really like how both shades are blending into each other and they're creating a really pretty gradient and not like competing for one another, which is good. So what I want to do now, I'm gonna take a little bit of pure ghost face, which is this guy right here. I'm gonna put that in that outer corner. Again, Doing it softly, only because I don't want to deal with any unnecessary bullshit today. I've already finished work. Today was filled with bullshit. I'm not happy. Uh, <laughs> today was just long and unnecessary. You ever had to go to a meeting when it should have been a fucking email? That was pretty much most of my day today, but it's okay though. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> At least when y'all see this, it will be Thursday. And that means I'm one step closer to it being the weekend. Okay, like I'm seriously just obsessed with like how gray and just foggy and weird and gross this is. I'm obsessed, I love it. <laughs> It's really good. The mats are doing exactly everything that I want them to do. They're blending beautifully. I'm not noticing any sort of patchiness or any sort of lifting. They're good. And the fact that nothing is sprinkled down my face bitch even better. So what I want to do now is I am going to use a little bit of NYX glitter glue. So I want to take one of these shimmers and put them all over the lid. All right, looking good. And now, do I want this one? Was it this? No, that, it wasn't that one. It was this one. <laughs> bitch. Okay. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, it's so good. It has a beautiful like green, gray, purple that it just looks so nice. It's so soft. It almost feels angelic in a weird way, but I do notice a little bit of glitter bukkake. So kind of be on the lookout for that, that the shimmers, even with some glitter glue, still kind of producing a little bit of a glitter bukkake situation. It's everything that I want it to be. It's so cute. This is so good. So I just want to go back into that pure ghost face shade and then I'm going to go into shadows back, just kind of combination of both and just put that right in the outer corner just to give it a little bit of dimension. I don't want to do too much, but I think that is perfect. Okay, love how this looks. So the next thing I want to do is, I want to use this liner, but like, I'll be honest with you, I'm not very good, especially when using liquid liner from this, because it's just, I don't know, I'm like, ugh. I'm not good at it, but if I just stay right to my lashes. All right, you know what? Maybe I should give myself a little bit more credit, okay? Because <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. It looks, oh God, I should never, I fucking jinx myself, I know I did. Okay, hold on, hold on. Mm. Don't breathe, Shh. Okay, I think we're gonna quit while we're ahead, but I do like the formula of this, it's nice. 
It's like a shiny black liner, but not too shiny. And it looks like it's drying down pretty fast. So that's good. I just want a little bit of something. Made it out of the woods. So we're good. <laughs> Let me just throw something in the waterline quickly. So I'm gonna take this shade down here, which is Halloween Icon, and we're just going to kind of gently place that in the lower lash line, which is exactly what I wanted. So pretty. So the last thing I'm gonna do is actually go into the highlighter, and I'm going to pop this, yeah, in the inner corner. Bitch, I love this, this is so nice. She's cute. She's not too much. I like that it has like this green gray moment, but with the shimmer adding a little bit of purple, it's just like enough to not be too extra, but just very celestial and just very, dare I say professional. This would be very HR friendly. <laughs> This, this is really, really cute. Very, very happy about this. Now let's move on to that motherfucking silver. I wanna start with ghostly gray first. We're going to kind of put that all over the crease, a little bit above the crease. We have like a nice like blue gray moment. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Movie Night, which is this lighter gray. And I'm going to basically blend out the edges with that shade. I'm gonna go into the shade Halloween Icon. Just put that into the crease. I really, really like this. I just love how all the colors just blend out very beautifully. Like nothing is competing. Everything just looks so pretty. And the best part, there's no patchiness, no shade lifting. Like this is fucking nice. I like this so much more than the Chucky palette. I did not like that. I fucking hated that palette. This, I like. This is good. More of this, please. <laughs> Keep this energy, all right? Ugh. Keep this energy. Now we have that. She looks beautiful. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm gonna take a little bit of that Halloween icon shade. I'm just gonna just place it just a little bit in the outer corner, just a little bit. And now what I wanna do is take a little bit of glitter glue and take a little bit of the Midnight Robe shade, which oh, looks so good. <sighs> this is, this is a Tin Man schlong. <laughs> This is it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's pretty. I am trying to be very gentle with it only because I do not want to deal with any glitter bukkake. So I'm just gonna go in very, very soft. But this bitch is sparkly and it's so pretty. To this day though, nothing will ever beat that Moschino Bear palette followed by Teresa's Lethal. But this, this is good. I like it because it's kind of more of a dark silver. Kind of has like this really beautiful kind of like pewter shade. Oh, it's so gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna go back into that Halloween icon and just gently place it in the outer corner. You know what? I'm actually gonna take the vintage mask shade. It's a little, a little, it's very, 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 very opaque black. We're just gonna, gonna put it in the outer corner, blend that up. It's so pretty. This is such a pretty palette and I'm having a lot of fun playing with it. I love this. This is so good. This is fucking good. Sorry if I'm not really even talking much. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just really enjoying myself. I'm like, <laughs> also it was a really long fucking day at work, but that's besides the point. This is really cute though. I love how it blended out. It's so like soft, but also really fucking dramatic. Like, yes, but this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I got. I am so happy. <laughs> So what I wanna do now is take a little bit of that Curfew Hour shade, and we're gonna use that as a liner instead of the liquid, only because I don't think lightning strikes twice. <laughs> And I don't want to fuck this up, so we're gonna we're gonna be easy. I'm gonna go with like a blue shade because I think it would just like complement that silver really nicely. And you know what? I'm genius. I was right. <laughs> I'm gonna put a nice like blue, blue gray. All right. So now what I want to do is go into that. You know what? Hmm. No, we're gonna go into the curfew hour shade only because I want to kind of keep everything the same, same tones anyway. Blend that out. I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara and then we're gonna move on to the lip products. The other thing I'm missing is something in the inner corner, but I'm going to, again, go back to the highlighter because I feel like there's nothing in that palette that would really work for me. So we're gonna go in, ooh, okay. That was very bright. <laughs> I just have to kind of go in with the gold, but we're going to 
Try to just diffuse that a little bit. So here's the completed eye looks. This is so good, y'all. This is so good. Let's keep this energy going and let's hope that the lip kits are good. The first thing I wanna try is these little guys, which I forget how to open them. Ah, uh, this box, is, it's like such a weird way to open it. Oh, please. Don't wanna destroy it. I love all the packaging, it's so good. So we have a little bit of a lip scrub and a lip mask. So let's try this, let's try the scrub. Oh, it is, it is ooey and gooey. All right, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Uh, 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 okay, I think I ate that. I mean, it does taste good though, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like the little tint that it, okay, I feel like I'm talking like this. <laughs> I like the tint though. <laughs> I like the tint of, okay, I gotta take this off, hold on. Low key, like the tint of it. I thought it was really good. Um, But yeah, that was just really uncomfortable to talk. Okay. <laughs> So we're just gonna move on and pretend that didn't happen. So now we're gonna move on to the lip mask. If it's anything like the Scooby-Doo one, we are good. So pretty. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. You know, I'll be honest. I thought there was gonna be a little bit of a tint to it. And I mean, there is just a little bit. Very, very slight tint. It feels good. Super smooth, not sticky and very comfortable. This is something that I'm always gonna wear. I like it. It doesn't really taste like Anything, I feel like I tasted more of like the black cherry with the lip scrub. I don't really taste much of this. And in terms of smell, it does smell, but like I have to put my nose like <laughs> really in there for me to smell it. But it's not an annoying smell or anything like that. Plus I also don't have the best sense of smell. Don't ask me if it really smells like black cherry. I couldn't fucking tell you. Uh, <laughs> it feels like it does. So I'll say yes. Now that we have our lips just nice and cute, I think what I wanna do is the red first because I know I'm gonna take it off immediately. Cause y'all know me, I am not a bright lip bitch. I am a neutral Nelly. So I'm a little scared of this one. But here is the lip liner, which I have to commend them. The lip liner since I believe the, at least the last collection are these mechanical pencils. And it's just so much better. I hated their old lip liners, the ones that you can sharpen. They were so pointy. I could use them as a fucking steak, okay? <laughs> I could slay vampires all day, every day with them. But on my lips, get them away from me. These, these are good. But again, I'm not a huge lip liner person, so kind of keep that in mind. But if I am gonna wear a lip liner, at least these are very, very comfortable. You know, I just realized <laughs> with the lip mask, it was kind of making it a little impossible. There you go, okay. I had to take that lip mask off. Which is a shame because I really liked it. Okay, now we're gonna add the gloss. Oh, 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 excuse me, ma'am. This is really out of my comfort zone, like really. Uh, I don't know, I don't like this. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this, but you know, it's just not me. That's why I don't like it. It just feels like really messy. It's also making me self-conscious. I don't know if I love this. Um, it feels a little messy for me and I feel incredibly self-conscious that it's like all up in my mouth and on my face. <laughs> that usually happens when it's like a red lipstick or lip gloss or whatever. So I just feel really so fucking insecure. Uh, it probably doesn't look that bad, no. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna move on to the next one. Well, I don't like this one. All right, so let's try this one. Uh, so this is the Ghost Face Lip Kit. And what I love about this is one, oh bitch, the packaging and the lipstick is everything. So you just press the bottom. Nope, I'm sorry, you press, <laughs> you press the top and then there she comes out. It's so good. So I feel like this color might be a little bit too light for me, but we're gonna try it anyway. So this is a black, <laughs> a black lip liner. So, oh, oh, no. Okay, 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 uh, okay. Well, this is a look, <laughs> but we're gonna try our best. Uh, uh, huh. Mmm, oh, I don't like this. Ooh, no, I cannot pull this off. Anybody that can, I bow down to you. <laughs> Mm-mm, mm-mm. I just look angry. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, I know like the more I put on, the more I'm like expecting a different result. I look kind of dead a little bit. Also like my face is getting red because I think I was panicking. <laughs> I'm like, this is not working out. This is not, this is not it. It does not look good on me, but a certain bitch can rock this lip and I respect the fuck out of you. I am not one of them. <laughs> I am not one of them. Let me take this off. <laughs> I don't think I can do the 
rest of the video with this on. I don't think I can. Okay, maybe I don't hate it that much, but let's see if I can add. Come on, Angelica. Oh, okay. I think I made it worse. <laughs> Oh fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like I've been eating out of the toilet. I don't like <laughs> That was my fault, my bad. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take this, <laughs> I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna talk about this collection. Okay, now that I've calmed down, uh, let's talk about the accessories first. So there are two accessories with this collection. First one, the mirror. 10 out of 10, fucking beautiful. This is so good. The mirror is a beautiful quality. I also like the shape of it and this, is everything. Highly recommend getting this. This is by far probably one of the coolest fucking things Lamlight has put out accessory wise. This is awesome. Very happy that they did this too because if they didn't I would have raised hell. <laughs> Now moving on to the bag, the thing that I was like legitimately so fucking excited about, and I still am. However, I do wish that the bottom of this wasn't so flimsy. Kind of wish that it was a stiffer bottom. And I also didn't appreciate that when I did open this and I tried to unzip the bag, the zipper pull fell off. And it's unfortunate because of how the zipper pull is and the ring, the ring has like a slight space in it. So there is gonna be a good chance that this may fall off and that kind of sucks. So just kind of keep that in mind. The other thing that I appreciate about this too and something that I'm actually not going to really use too much but I like that there's an option is that I do like that there is this longer strap that you could kind of technically probably make it a cross body not on this fat ass body but on some other body you probably could I do like that you get a nice amount of space within the bag but I think the one thing that's a little bit confusing is this pouch right here there really isn't anything so I guess like you could kind of just put I don't know like I guess your brushes maybe I don't know it's a flat space so this I was just kind of like what the fuck do I put in here but I think if I'm traveling I'd probably put my mirror in here something that's very very thin and not too bulky because I don't want it I don't want it to fuck up the image other than that I think for like a big makeup bag this is really nice and I definitely think worth checking out just beware of the zipper pull and if you are looking for something a little bit more like structured this is not it this can be flattened out which I know is kind of a preference some people kind of prefer like floppy makeup bags. I could kind of go either way. I just wish that this bag, because of like how cool it fucking looks, I don't want it to warp in size. I wish it was a little bit more structured. But um, in any case, I think it's designed really, really well. It's very, very cute and I love it. And had this not been sent to me, I would have picked this up immediately along with the mirror and I wouldn't be disappointed. So very, very happy about that. So let's move on to the blush, which listen, not gonna lie, I was a little like intimidated by it. Cause I was like, I don't know how this is gonna work on my uncooked chicken ass. But as you can see, it works very, very beautifully. I also think what helped too is pairing this with a bronzer that has like more of like a dusty rose reddish undertone. I feel like the combination of the two just play off very well with each other. So far, I'm very, very happy with it. I also like the fact that if I do go a little bit ham, I can blend it out with not only my trusty hourglass brush, but also with a little bit of setting powder. With the setting powder, it definitely softened it up and it just looks so good. I love it. It looks so pretty. I can't wait to use this more, but I'm going to be very, very sparing when I do so because you can go possessed doll real quick. Uh, and come on, that pan embossing is fucking everything. Now, the makeup product <laughs> that literally does no wrong is the highlighter. First of all, pan embossing, what the fuck? It's so good. They're both great. They're both alien slut. They have a lot of shine. One side kind of has a little bit of like micro glitter. The other side doesn't. They're very glossy. They're very wet. And I just love how silky smooth this formula is. And it's also really beautiful in the inner corner. Highly recommend checking that out. It is so good. If you're looking for a nice icy highlighter, this is for you. If you do not like icy highlighters, I could kind of see it being a little bit of an issue, but I'm an icy bitch, okay? <laughs> I'm an ice queen. This is everything. I love the little duochrome reflect. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Actually, both sides are really good, but I like, I'm obsessed with this side. It's so good. It pairs so well too with the red blush. Bitch. Actually, even the gold side though. I'm just in love. I love both face products. They're everything. They're so good. Okay, so moving on to the palette. Now, I wanna point this out because <laughs> you're gonna see Makeup Bingo on Friday. And I saw Makeup Bingo first before playing with this. And I talked a little bit about how, to me, this palette kind of reminded me a little bit of the Hershey's Cookies and Cream palette. So I'm gonna put 
the swatches up there. I think when you look at them side by side, you're like, okay, well, they kind of look like they have some similarities, but then when you swatch them out, you realize this is heavy leaning towards blue, while this one kind of has more of like a greenish gray undertone. I think if you have this and you wanted this, there is enough of a difference that you don't feel like you're buying the same palette twice. But with that said, it's definitely within the same realm. And of course, there is a black shade in both palettes that are kind of very, very similar, right? But beyond that though, I feel like there were a lot of differences. It is so refreshing <laughs> to have another really fucking stellar palette from them. I hated the Chucky palette. I really didn't like it. I just felt like everything was like super fucking patchy. And honestly, I haven't really picked it up since. I made my video. I tried it again. I tried it one more time. And then I tried it for a third time just to make sure that I wasn't going out of my mind. And I was like, nope, this is not for me. There's something like weird about this formula in my opinion. It's definitely patchy. I experience a lot of balding and there's just so much glitter bukkake. It's not even funny. I don't like this palette. I was so hoping <laughs> that it wasn't going to be this palette. And I'm so happy that and it's not. This is really good. This is really good. Granted, did I get to play with all the shades? No, but for the two looks that I did create, I used a fair amount. And I have to say, I love them both. I love the soft gray tones. I think they all blend very beautifully and they're not the kind of shades, you know, they kind of blend into each other, making it like one big shade. You can definitely see the gradient between them. I didn't experience any sort of patchiness. I don't see any lifting. Granted, this is a first impression, right? Obviously I'm trying this after work, but I will leave like a pinned comment uh, in like a couple of days to let you know that if I'm still like loving the quality of it, but so far so good. I love both looks. This is definitely sophisticated HR with a little bit of a sparkle. And this is kind of like queen of the damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love the silver. It's definitely a Tin Man schlong and it's so good. This is really, really good. Is it my Moschino Bear? No, but it's definitely within the realm. And most importantly, I have very, very sensitive eyes and I had eye makeup on earlier and I took it off and usually I don't like to put makeup on so quickly after taking it off. I'm not experiencing any sort of irritation in my eye. Everything feels good. Everything's great. Like I'm just, I'm happy. This exceeded my expectations. Now the other thing too I wanted to point out is that I guess people were thinking that the Chucky palette was very similar to this. No, they are clearly not. I did not swatch both of these out. I only swatched the Hershey palette because I felt like that was a little bit more of a match than these two. But but uh, if you do want to, actually, you know what? Come to think of it. Yeah, like maybe one or two. Meh, not that bad. But I mean, if you do want to see some really good swatches, Clamlight did post a video on their Instagram. So I will try to link it down below so you can kind of see the differences uh, between the two. And I'm pretty sure in that video, they stated that I think there was like one shade that kind of looked the same. However, if you look at it closely, I think the Chucky palette had like silver sparkles and the ghost face one kind of had multicolored sparkles. So that was the only difference. Um, but yeah, quality wise, fucking 10 out of 10. In my makeup bingo thing, I also talked a little bit about how I was kind of a little like taken back by this palette. First of all, what I was anticipating was an actual Scream collection. And then I was like, no bitch, it's ghost face. I was like, <laughs> oops, because I, I was assuming that this was going to be very much paired with Scream. It's not just ghost face. Okay, cool. So I was kind of expecting there to be a blood red in here. There is a blood red. It's just in a different form. So instead we have it in a lip product as well as a blush, which on one hand I like because it's different, but also kind of a little disappointed that there wasn't a blood red shimmer in the palette. That is the only thing that I wish there was. Also, it's kind of interesting the tones of this palette compared to the character. When I think of ghost face, right? I think of black, white, silver, red. There's a black, there's some silver. I don't really see a white. I feel like this palette could have used a white, like a nice bone white, and it could have used a nice blood red color. I feel like had it had that, I would feel like, okay, this is kind of like really on the nose. But then again, this is like their interpretation of ghost face, right? And maybe they didn't want to be on the nose. Maybe they wanted to just have that accent of red in a blush. And for that, I mean, it is what it is, right? <laughs> It is what it is. On the bright side, the brand owner Giselle posted a video where she used the blush as an eyeshadow and it looked pretty fucking good. So if you did get the full collection or at least if you got these two, here's your matte red right here that you can totally kind of pair with the palette. When I first saw the color story online, I liked it, but then I thought about it. And I was like, I don't know, this kind of looks like this palette. But now actually having it in my hands, this is a very, very pretty collection. Very pretty. And dare I say one of the prettiest palettes that Glam Light has put out, I fucking love this. And I know this was sent to me in PR, but y'all know how fucking critical I am. And I am just kind of blown away. I'm blown away by the quality. I had a lot of fucking fun playing with this palette and had this not been sent to me, I would have happily paid full price. And sure, it probably would have taken a year and a day to get to me. But once I did receive 
receive the fucking palette, I'd be very happy about it. So I am a huge fan of it. I can't wait to continue to make more looks. I love it. So good. Um, and uh, last but certainly not least, uh, the lip kits. Um, <sighs> I'm not a fan of Glam Lights lip kits and they're not for me. The liners were fine in the sense of the formula. Like I didn't feel like they were too stiff. They were very, very creamy. They're just colors that I would never fucking use ever. The lip gloss felt a little bit too juicy and kind of just made me like really paranoid that it was going to get everywhere. And again, it's such a bright color that I just, I don't, I personally don't like that. So I wasn't a huge fan of this one. So I just, I, don't know, I just, I wouldn't fuck with it. Moving on to the nude lipstick. I love the component. I could do this every day, all day. This is so good. The thing that I hate is the color. <laughs> I don't look good in like these very light pale brown colors. They just make me look like I've been eating out of the toilet. It reminds me of Gucci's Margaret Candle Flame lipstick and I, I fucking hate it. Formula wise, it was fine. Usually their lipsticks I feel like are really stiff and kind of hurt me when I applied them. I didn't have any issues in terms of application. All the formulas were really, really smooth except for the gloss that I just felt was like a little bit messy. But other than that, everything was fine. It just comes down to preference for me and I just prefer not to use those colors. They're just not for me and that's fine. Makeup is subjective. Everything that comes out is not meant for everyone and it is what it is. And honestly, if those are like kind of the weakest links out of this whole collection, so fucking be it. Like that's totally fine. So yeah, not a fan of the lip kits. I could kind of do without, but packaging a fucking plus. Moving on to the lip scrub lip duo. These are good. They remind me of the Scooby-Doo ones. If you had those and you like those, you're gonna love these. The lip scrub felt really, really good. Had a little bit of color to it. And I love the lip mask. The lip mask is gonna live next to my bed because I love the deep hydration the mask has and it lasts for a very long time. So happy about that. And of course the packaging is really fucking adorable. And um, oh, I forgot to talk about the eyeliner. I kind of forgot about this to be honest with you, um, but I liked it. I was a little hesitant at first only because I don't really like liquid liners, but it worked out. Thankfully. <laughs> the brush tip was very, very smooth and very precise. And for someone like myself who has hooded eyes, it doesn't have a lot of real estate. I try to stay really, really close to the lash line and I was able to do so with it. I feel like it dried down pretty fast. It looks shiny, but now it kind of dried down to a matte black and it looks pretty good. Very happy about this. I don't know how often I will use this only because I am just like a shadow liner girl. But if I did have to use a liquid liner, I don't mind the formula. I don't mind the application. This was fine. I think that's it. Real talk. Like I mentioned before, this was sent to me in PR. Had I bought the whole collection, I would be happy. Yeah, maybe the lip kits wouldn't be my cup of tea. I like everything else enough to justify the purchase. Also, if you can, get the fucking box. The box is so sick. It's so sick. As a horror fan, this is everything. This is everything. I love this. Plus, I love the inside of it. They did a really good job. Packaging wise, fucking 10 out of 10. They really nailed it. And I know they're releasing more collections and I may or may not know what the collections are and I'm gonna shut up about it. <laughs> but if they keep this energy up, they're gonna be fucking sick, all right? And I'm so excited for that. So yes, overall, I liked it. I thought it was really good. There were a lot of hits, there were a couple of misses, but overall, I feel like it's definitely worth checking out if you are interested. Now this is launching on Friday, September 29th. If you wanna save a little bit of money, again, I do have an affiliate code with them. Use the code whew, garbage and you could save some money off your order. Of course, I'm sorry that I didn't list the prices and everything because by the time that I'm actually uh, doing this video and trying to put it up, I don't think that information is going to be available. So I do apologize that I'm missing that. But if it's similar to Glam Light's pricing, then I feel like it should be pretty reasonable. Anyway, um, yeah. Thank you, Glam Light. Thank you for sending this my way. I fucking love it. I love it. Now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you are interested in picking up this collection. Are you going to? Let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, let me know your guesses for the next two collections because I'm kind of curious what you think it's going to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, the rides, blue sky, and of course, my wonderful patrons and YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, but spooky. Garbage butter flow. I couldn't do it without you and I love your adorable little delicious faces and I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed down below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye!